Everybody has their own thoughts about how this game should be played. You need this striker because he's got five star skills. You need this player because he has the best long shots in the game. You need this goalie because he can save a beach ball. But I'm here to tell you, those opinions do not matter. Okay, maybe the goalie saving a beach ball, that matters a little bit. <laughs> However, to be a good FC player, you must first understand what style you like to play. Okay. It doesn't matter the rating of the player that's in your team. They won't always be the 86 plus rated cards. Let me elaborate on this. Everybody has different styles and ways to win in this game. Take myself as an example. I love pacey players. At the end of a build up play, there's nothing I love more than to just send one long ball through, have my striker run onto it perfectly, take that first touch, and shoot. That's it? That's it? So for me, a player like Nkunku, Holland, Mbappe, if we want to go there, is a great choice, but that's not always the case. My brother doesn't play much FC, he played a little bit of FIFA 23, he started during team of the season. Hey Daniel, you know, you got the best players in front of you, he gets to start off with a great starter team. <laughs> that's what I thought. I told him all the players to use, but when I looked at his squad, right up top, his main striker was Gold Eden Dzeko. I'm not kidding. 56 pace Jekko. And I kept telling him there's better cards out there. Try this player, try that player. And he always went back to Jekko. And the reason will shock you. He found out that when he plays the game, he likes everybody to know exactly where to be at all times. <laughs> when he looks for a striker, he wants somebody with great attacking position. And if we scroll over to Eden Jekko's footbin page, we'll see his positioning is 86 in this game. In FIFA 23, his attacking position was 90 rated. That's insane. And because he played a more possession slash passing style of play, Jekyll was the best striker he could possibly have. Craziest stats for one of the worst cards I'd have to say in the game. But he made it work because that's how he played the game. Whatever you say, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And guys, this analogy works across all areas of the field and will also help you in choosing your formation. If you're more on the pacey side, maybe you want to go with a formation with wing if you're more on the passing and slash possession side of things, you're going to want to go with a more narrow formation. If you're a hybrid of the two, maybe go with a formation with right and left mids that have great passing. The combinations are endless. Go with what feels comfortable for you. Plug your ears to all those content creators that are telling you this player, buy that player. What's the point of having a five-star skiller in your team if you don't even know how to do five-star skills? They might be worth a million coins and you might have that guilt that you need to hang on to them. I'm telling you right now, let go of them. Take the million coins, buy players that complement your style. Because at the end of the day, using cards properly is what will get you wins. To start you off, I've built two teams, one's pacey and one's more controlled passing. For a hybrid team, you can kind of mesh the two together. This is the more pacey squad. We've got pace up front, pace in the midfield, pace in the back, and Courtois to stop a beach ball, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, maybe the goalie saving a beach ball? That matters a little bit. For the more controlled side of play, you know I had to add Ed and Dzeko into this team. But this team's more focused on passing, dribbling, even the center backs. Not a lot of center backs have above 70 passing. And I hope that this is a little epiphany for you, that you start to buy players that match you and honestly enjoy the game. And if you want to see some custom tactics for a pace squad, a possession squad, and a hybrid of the two, make sure to tune into my next video where I'll go over some custom tactics on how to maximize the playstyle that you want to play. And until then, peace.